Since three, four years, there is a crisis in Europe. You know it. Una cinquantina sono stagionali. Our cooperative works only green environment. Sector. Uh, we work for creating a safe and a nice environment where our citizens can live. The second um, sector where we work uh, is a cleaning. Uh, cleaning especially um, uh, homes and hospitals for old people. At the moment more than 90% of our activities are commissioned by uh, the local authorities. Now we want to make a change towards uh, the open market, the free market, and the community tourism is the way we are trying to do this. We have two apartments in Perarolo di Cadore, um, in a beautiful building called Palazzo Lazzaris. È un lavoro di accoglienza dei viaggiatori in cui noi non vendiamo il Cadore, ma offriamo alla pari la possibilità di scambiarci esperienze. È un'esperienza che abbiamo iniziato da circa un anno in via diciamo, sperimentale, diventando soci del consorzio LEMAT, che è un consorzio eh, che è nato in Italia, che lavora con molte cooperative sociali, quindi che fanno inserimento di persone eh, svantaggiate e con disabilità. I like to define myself a social entrepreneur because I think that in order to change something in this world, um, we have to use uh, the entrepreneurial method, which means to see the resources and to develop the resources. I learned this working with very excluded people, disabled people, people coming from the mental health hospitals. And we discovered that these people and these places are full of resources that can be used to develop a different economy. And we thought in the big enterprise, uh, the big hotel chains use franchising So why we don't use franchising, but because what means franchising? Um, that you replicate uh, already proven good practices, something with what functions. Um, and for us, it was important not only um, to have uh, economic sustainability, But we also wanted an environmental sustainability and what was at least more important was that the people working in the cooperative um, could experience a social empowering. So we thought to set up a brand uh, of social entrepreneurs in tourism. So we developed this Le Mat, um, special places, special people, special values. Everybody has his strong side. As we don't work with the um, problems of the people, of the handicap of the people, We work with the 
the side of the people who are who are very strong. We are a business like another and like a hotel or something, and we have a mission to activate the people who has lost their job, who has problems. These are the first victims of a crisis. And we have about here uh, 28 uh, people which are learning to work in the kitchen, to clean up the rooms, because if they are learning here, afterwards they can go to the regular market and to work there. In fact, we collect everything. What's still in uh, good shape, but not for, for not longer use for the owner. We are recycling here in the Flemish side of Belgium for 77 percent. The local authority pays us 10 cents per kilogram we collect. So that is very important. We have the exact weight of everything we collect. But the most important thing for us is employment. In the, the five shops we have and in our center, in Rudervoorde, we uh, have 200 people who work, and uh, from those uh, 160 work uh, with a social contract. We employ people who are at least five years unemployed and low skilled. We work together with the social service of the municipality, and they also have a program that sent uh, people over here. Oskamp, uh, so the city and social services has uh, always uh, been active in the social employment. Uh, but we are blessed, I must say, blessed that uh, a lot of great uh, private partners are active here in Oostkamp. They stay over here for one year, one and a half year, and then the, we support them to, to find a job. But they also get a chance to, to get a driving license over here, to get experience, uh, so they can have more skills. I was five years without work. And at my age, it was uh, uh, not easy to find work. And now I work here four and a half years. And I like it. It was not uh, from go on, go on, go for not production. It's just you can work on your own time. Your, the way you fast, slowly, but work well. <laughs> If we uh, give money to, to ent social enterprises, it's also because they do things for the people. They, 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 they give them work, and not only work, they, they give services to the, to the people. Nowadays we convinced the government we are necessary, and not only we, also other social uh, economy projects. They, they don't give money away, they just invest. They don't have to employ themselves, now we do it for them. They know that uh, social employment is very important not only today, also for, for the future. Our resources are limited, and unlimited growth and limited resources don't go together. So it wouldn't be the right way uh, to use as many resources as possible uh, and then not care about the future.
we do have uh, consumers uh, and target groups who want to buy uh, second-hand washing machines uh, because they have understood uh, what sustainable consumption means. Uh, they also support a social initiative because we only uh, employ uh, long-term unemployed people here and sometimes people with disabilities and they also do something good for the environment. Seit 2001, also 11 Jahre, bin ich jetzt im Rus. Mein Name ist Aman Habib. Ich bin Elektronics Technik. Uh, ich habe hier exakt exactly 10 Jahre. Es ist sehr schön hier, es ist sehr kollegial. Also wir halten alle zusammen. Es gibt bei uns kein Mobbing oder so irgendwas. Also es ist wirklich sozial und kameradschaftlich bei uns. Ich habe so, so viel gelernt, dass es hier, ja. We started uh, a social business uh, in 1998 uh, when it was not possible to get serious repair services. Our business is recycling of electronic waste. Yeah, we do it in three sectors. The one is uh, dispollution and manual dismantling of, of electronic waste. Yeah, but uh, we also try to get as much of reusable appliances out of our input and uh, to put it back into the second-hand market. Yeah? And we have a third department where we produce design products out of uh, electronic components. With quite a lot of our products, uh, we already won uh, design prizes. Uh, for example, with this handbag, yeah, we've won two international prizes, design prizes, one in Spain and the other one in New York uh, about two years ago. We are a social enterprise uh, within the Wiener Volkshochschulen GmbH, which is the largest uh, adult education provider in the German-speaking world. We integrate long unemployed persons back into the regular job market again. We do it via temporary job contracts and uh, we do this as a service for the Austrian government. Yeah. To be able to work yeah, is a very important matter for everybody. Yeah. So I think uh, doing reintegration of long unemployed persons is a very important service for the community or for the society. Η λακωνική βιονεργειακή ιδρύθηκε από 30 λάκωνε, κυρίω παρτιάτε, οι οποίοι είχαν την αίσθηση ότι πρέπει να λύσουμε το πρόβλημα των απορριμμάτων. Το πρώτο μας μέλημα ήταν να φτιαχτεί ένα εκπαιδευτικό κομμάτι που εκεί ο κάθε πολίτης, το σχολείο, τα νηπιαγωγεία που έχουν έρθει εδώ ή απλοί πολίτες μαθαίνουν ότι τα προϊόντα αυτά που έχουν στο σπίτι τους εάν τα πετάξουν όλα μαζί, αυτό που κάναμε μέχρι τώρα και αυτό που κάναμε σίγουρα τον προηγούμενο αιώνα, είναι σκουπίδια. Εάν όμως τα δούμε σαν προϊόντα, αυτά ξαφνικά παίρνουν πολυοικονομικές διαστάσεις. Το έργο αυτής της εταιρεία πλέον έχει ξεκινήσει από τον Απρίλιο του 2012 και μέσα στους αυτούς τους λίγους μήνες έχει συγκεντρωθεί αυτό το υλικό που βλέπετε, 
Αυτός είναι περίπου 2.500 άτομα οι οποίοι φέρνουν το προϊόν εδώ διαχωρισμένο, ζυγίζεται, καταγράφεται το όνομά τους και στην ουσία στο τέλος της διαδικασίας αυτής υπάρχει ένα ποσό αναείδος. Υπάρχει ένα τιμοκατάλογο δηλαδή, το οποίο ανάλογα τα κιλά χαρτί που φέρνει, ανάλογα τα πλαστικά που φέρνει, ανάλογα τα τηγανέλαια που φέρνει, θα πληρωθεί στην τράπεζα. Αυτή τη στιγμή απασχολούνται τρία άτομα και ήδη υπάρχει σχεδιασμό αυτά τα άτομα να γίνουν 30. Επομένω, όσο πιο πολλά απορρίμματα έρχονται, με αυτόν τον τρόπο, σαν προϊόντα, τόσο πιο πολλά άτομα θα αρχίσουν να δουλεύουν εδώ. We are reorganizing the healthcare delivery for about 30,000 people in a small area called Kinzigtal. That we are totally uh, sure about the possibility of delivering a better care and uh, a more respectful care for the patients and a less costing care for the insurances. We are around 350 people working inside this project. Physicians in offices, physicians in, in hospitals, uh, physiotherapists, uh, the nursing homes, um, the ambulatory care nurses that are going around to the, to the houses. And um, uh, it's a real big group of a lot of communication is being done inside. And our contract between the cooperative with the physicians and us and the uh, social security system is that we earn the money they save. And this intermediate association, Gesundes Kinzigtal, Healthy Kinzigtal, that is an organization that gets money only if it's successful. And so investing into the social fabric of this region is reducing healthcare costs. So health is not only being done by physicians, it's only allowed about 30% normally that accounts for medical help. 70% is more the social fabric and we try to help the people really getting in a good shape. So we invest money today thinking that in the long run and for the next two, three, four years we get lower costs of care at all. And it, it is working. We have this situation that our investment really comes to the point that People have less use of hospitalization uh, uh, during the year. We started with this enterprise in '75 when there were a lot of action groups and all left groups who were uh, active and did not have money to pay normal printing work. It was very expensive at the time. The way of working is completely different. Uh, you don't have to ask permission for everything. Different from other companies, we're all owners of the company, and in fact, we're all the directors. Some, sometimes people enter here and, and they ask for the boss and say, no, there's no boss. Difficult to understand. You can decide what you do with your job. You can decide with, uh, with the other members where, where your company is going to. And it can, it can take some time. It's slower than, than one person who says yes or no. But uh, when the decision is taken, everybody more or less agrees. Uh, you can always adjust at, at certain moments. If, if, for instance, the economy is a bit low, you can decide collective to uh, minimize the cost. So you don't have to fire people, for example. You have no boss. <laughs> We are home busters, so... A lot of people come here and they see how they work and say, oh, it's very nice. But, uh, no, I, I stay with my boss, you know. It's, 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 it's more sure, yeah? it's better paid maybe. 
Yeah, it's a good idea, but when it comes to practice, then people do com completely the opposite. If, if you see what people cho uh, what their choices are in, in life, they choose for big cars, not for big quality. It's, it's, it's unbelievable, but that's what they do. L losing money, that's, that's terrible, that's terrible, yeah, yeah. If you, if you have more time of more happiness, of more nature, Okay, but losing money, that's, that's terrible, yeah. There has to be a change of the whole economy. And um, I'm convinced that uh, this is an already ongoing process. For me, is a change of the economy not necessary um, less of um, of consumption? It's another kind of consumption. You know, it's not uh, not the story of um, less and less. It's a story of better and better. Of course, we need more if we look in the social fields, if we look in the ecological fields. There is more needed.